Hello everybody out there, how are you? I thought that it would be a good idea to do a what is in my lunch bag video. A more miniature version of like a what I eat in a day video, but like lunch edition. And I know that a lot of you guys like those sorts of videos um, just for some meal inspiration or some healthy like eating ideas and that. And so I thought, why not? My lunch is packed and I thought today would be a good day to give you an example of what I pack in my lunch bag. So this is my lunch bag here and we are just going to dive right in. And please do let me know if you enjoy this sort of video. That way I will know to make them more often if that's something that you guys would like. So let's go, let's get started. The very first thing, the, the biggest thing in my lunch bag is my actual lunch. I have here some spaghetti squash that I cooked up and this is delicious like for dinner and then it's great for lunch the next day as leftovers. This is so good. This is sauteed spaghetti squash with parsley and garlic, a little bit of sea salt. So I just roasted the spaghetti squash in the oven so that I could get all the noodles from it and then I sauteed it for just a couple minutes and it's so good! I can't wait to have this later on today. And over on this side I have my little salad. So this has kind of been a go-to salad of mine lately. It's just mixed organic greens and then I have a can of salmon here. Um, that's about half a can of salmon I would say. Also I've got some olives and some green onion in there. I just kind of throw whatever I have in the fridge onto the salad. And I also have some sauerkraut as well. This is the salmon that I like to use. It's by the company Rincoast Trading. This is great. This keeps me feeling very full and satisfied. I'm especially excited about this spaghetti squash today. So that is the bulk of my lunch. I've also got an avocado and I almost always like to bring an avocado with me for my lunch or for a snack whether I just eat it on its own. Usually I'll eat half of an avocado or a quarter of an avocado. In this case I'm going to eat it with my salad I think. But depending on how I feel, sometimes I'll have it like a little bit later and it'll just be a nice little filling, satisfying snack. This one's actually ready to go so I definitely need to eat it today. But occasionally even sometimes I'll bring an avocado and I'll mash it up with lime and cilantro and kind of almost eat just like a guacamole. That's really good too. Avocado makes an excellent addition to your lunch and it's it's ready to go. You don't have to prep anything. I mean you can, if you prefer you can kind of like slice it up before you go but I'm just gonna bring it like this and cut it up when I get to work. For my dressing for my salad, so this has been my little go-to dressing lately. All it is is olive oil balsamic vinegar, a little bit of toasted sesame oil, just because I've been in love with the toasted sesame oil lately, and some rosemary. I just pour it into a little container and then I'll just give it a really good shake before I'm ready to put it on the salad. And that's it. That's the dressing for it. I also today will be bringing some date balls. This is kind of a large container for, can you see them? There's three delicious date balls in here and these have been a very favorite snack of mine past little while. And all it is, is medjool dates and shredded coconut as the base of the, the dough, so to speak. And then I did kind of like a fall spice, like a pumpkin spice variation this time around. So I did cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger, and a little bit of sea salt. And that's it. That's all this is. It, is a, it makes a delicious little sweet snack. A little bit of energy, a little bit of, you know, satisfying the sweet tooth. So that's what I love about them though. It's just, you could even just do dates and coconut. But you could also do like a squeeze of lemon or lemon rind if you want to do a lemon one. And so yeah, I'm going to have to make a video sharing some of my favorite date ball recipes because they're so easy to do and they're just, just a few ingredients. So I've got a couple of those as well for a snack later on. Most importantly also, I always have my water bottle with me. I have shared this water bottle before. This is from Life Factory and it's just a glass bottle with silicone covering. I drink, I, this is 22 ounces here, I drink probably at least one of these a day. Always have my water with me, that is pretty much all I drink during the day, except for tea. So I always have tea with me in my lunch bag, because I usually have one to two cups of these throughout the day. So I have here my organic peppermint. I showed this in my favorites video recently. I really like this peppermint tea, which is kind of funny because Generally, I'm really not a mint lover. 
but it's growing on me and, and peppermint just goes down nicely. It's nice after you eat and some kind of refreshing, good for digestion. And then I've also got this tea from Flora. I really like this one. This is their stomach tea. So it's a blend of fenugreek, there's fennel, there's caraway. I think there's peppermint in there as well. There's a couple other herbs. And it's just a nice herbal tea for for digestion as well so I might have this later on or really any time during the day so that's it for my lunch today that's what's in my lunch bag again if you guys do like this sort of video please let me know below or give this video a thumbs up and that way I'll know to make these more often if you are interested in seeing more of the types of things that I pack for lunch I have no problem doing that so let me know and I will see you guys in my next video bye